Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here, and today I will be sharing my journey to Google. After graduating from college, I was able to land a job as a software engineer at Google. And in this video, I want to share with you guys my journey to my first job. So during undergrad, I didn't start computer science until my junior year. But when I started, I was uh, very looking forward to like what I can learn and what the stuff that I need to do. So I had a very focused mindset. So I tried to find as many internship opportunity as possible. I was looking on my campus to see what's available. And I was able to get my first internship experience on campus. From, and I was able to also become teaching assistants for courses that I did really well in. So I tried to gather as much you know, previous experiences as possible because I didn't start computer science like very early on in my career. So I feel a little bit behind. I also try really hard to apply to different type of fellowships on campus, for example, like CS honors or whatever that I can put on my resume to help me stand out. And I think by having all these experiences helped me land my first official internship. It was at a fintech company. And I think during those internships, I really get to practice my skill working with other people. And having that on my resume, I think really opened my door. After that summer coming back from internship, so after that, I started to apply into like many companies and I applied to Google as well. And at the time I was like, you know, uh, let's see how this goes. So previously I have applied to Google internship before and I didn't even get the first round of interview. So I think at the time I didn't have enough experiences to justify applying for like a software technical internship. But now that I have all these experiences, I think the algorithm likes me a lot more. So at least it gave me the first round of interview, which is the take home assignment. I think at the time, I also was very focused on taking the right classes. So some of the classes that I took, such as uh, advanced algorithm, which teaches you how to like, you know, do advanced like sorting, scheduling problems and dynamic programming. And then I also took like advanced data structure classes, which teach you more complex data structure and how you can how you can build them from the ground, especially focusing on like, you know, different type of trees, hash maps, and B tree, etc. So yeah, those courses were very challenging and it really got me to thinking and practice these problems. And I think they are one of the biggest reason why I was able to do really well on my interview. So moving forward, for my first round of interview, it was a take home assignment. I kind of read the question wrong in a way. So while I was solving the problem, I was, I came up with a solution very quickly. And I was trying to run the test that they give you. And I was able to pass almost all of them except for like one or two. And I was like, wait, why is that the case? Like why? And then I was trying to look at the return and trying to make sense of it. And then I went back to reread the question. And I was like, oh, I, I read this wrong. So I was like, but then I only had like a few minutes left. So I didn't really know what to do. So I just quickly wrote down a lot of comments on like how would I would change everything. Like I was hoping like these comments will carry me. Someone will read it and then, you know, pass me on to at least the next phone round. But uh, luckily I was able to actually pass this round. Although I had like, you know, a few test cases not passing. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's still very common to send you a take home assignment, but definitely do your best. And if you stuck or anything, try to write comments, try to explain how you would do it. I don't recommend going straight into comments, but let's say you have one minute or two minutes left. Try to write down something like explaining like your process. Maybe someone will read it and maybe that's enough to get you to the phone round. So moving forward, I move on to the phone interview. After passing the take home assignment, I was able to move to the phone interview. And once again, like the classes I took in algorithm, like advanced algorithm, literally like during my phone interview, they asked me a type of scheduling question. And because I was taking the course or like the classes I was recently take, I recently took that advanced algorithm class. So like all these concepts are still very fresh in my mind. And I always reviewed these course and the class notes before I interview to try to give me a better understanding of all these concepts. So at the time I actually didn't practice as much lead code type of questions. I was more focused on understanding the concept and really understanding how to do like, you know, graph problems, how to do like hash tables, like how these concepts really work from a detailed level. And I think that helped me a lot. And I did use the green book, the cracking the code interview. I have a video on it and I use that book a lot. Try to practice some of the problems from that book 
and yeah, so I, I was able to solve the phone round interview, no problem. I think I did it really well because once again, it was some sort of scheduling problem that I, I kind of, I really, I, I understand really well. So like I was able to do that. And after the phone interview, I was invited to the onsite and the onsite is just a series of back-to-back -back interview. And once again, I would say for most of the interviews, I did relatively well, except for one of them, which I wasn't able to solve it very optimally. Like, you can say like it's a little stretch brute force, but it's still pretty like, yeah, it, not the best code that you write, but yeah, I would say like overall, like I felt pretty good about my, my interviewing, my final round. And after that comes the long wait. So yeah, like many of you might know, like big tech companies, like especially Google, they take like really long time reviewing your like package. I remember emailing my recruiter after like two or three weeks. I'm like, hey, like um, any updates? And, and then my recruiter was like, oh, the hiring committee is about to review it. And then we will try to get your answer really fast. I, I think at one point I tried to expedite the process a little bit because like I had other offers and I was trying to really make my decision. So I think that push the process a bit faster and I was able to hear it back I think the following week and I was also comparing my other offers and then I tried to negotiate with my recruiters you know I also asked them about like potential relocation opportunities and yeah I just did a bunch of uh, negotiating depending on the location they can either let you pre uh, allocate into a team like you tell them the area that you're really interested in or you know, they do some sort of team matching to see what headcounts are available. So in summary, I would say definitely have a very relevant background. For example, like attending hackathons or like becoming teaching assistants, like to demonstrate that you are someone who knows how to program, someone who care about technology. And I think this will also help you get that first round of interview. Getting to that interview is one of the hardest things. And once you can consistently get interview from these companies, it just depends on your practice. And some of the good ways to practice is definitely like nowadays, like lead code or like really understanding the concepts. I have a few videos focusing on the interview process, so definitely check those out. But that's pretty much an overview of my journey to Google. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, let me know.